Hello, my name is Mitch, and I draw Blood Force, and today we are looking at page 13 of issue 2 of Blood Force, uh, which is a, a pretty good page, like pretty fun to work on, as far as I recall. But, uh, so naturally we want to put off talking about it as long as possible, so we can talk about, uh, you know, running some promo type stuff. Be right back. So what is Blood Force? This is Blood Force. Blood Force is a celebration slash send-up of 90s extreme comics. It's itself a comic book. It's drawn by me and also written by me. It's all me. I'm to blame for this. So you may be asking yourself, how do I go about reading Blood Force? And the answer is, you open up the description to this video. In there you'll find a link to my Patreon. Subscribe there. That will give you access to all of the Blood Force pages. It'll also give you access to all the process stuff. I usually include stuff like just pencils lying out there. Um, you'll get all the videos. You'll also get some pre-Blood Force stuff. All this just for $3 American. It's an absolute steal. And of course, the more subscribers we get, the closer we get to the goal of publishing Blood Force. But that's a ways off. Uh, first thing we gotta do, you know, baby steps, is uh, we need subscribers first. So subscribe today, read some Blood Force comics, help get Blood Force out on those shelves. And this certainly sounded like I had a third thing to say, but I don't. All right, so this was all, yeah. This is all right. <laughs> we are continuing the interrogation of Popo, which has uh, got to be kind of a frustrating affair for the clerk captain. And this is one of those uh, pages that ended up being a little bit packed on the panels. Um, I think I probably should have paced out uh, an extra page in here in this particular sequence. But, the th I mean, the problem is the, the issue's already running a little little bit long. Right now, it's scheduled to be about 24 pages, which means we're over halfway through, by the way. So that's cool. And, um, yeah, and there there is, well, I have an idea about the pace of the rest of the pages. Uh, like I said, I still, uh, before, I still haven't really thumbnailed anything out from here on. It's, it's a bit seat of the pants. I probably should just sit down and like, you know, yeah, let's, let's figure out how the rest of this issue looks. But I uh, haven't done that yet. There's a, there's a vague idea. I mean, it's working out so far. And that's really the best way to work, right? It's just as long as it continues being okay, just keep it going as it is. So here we can see... I just, I'm just working on the lettering here. I'm a little surprised I didn't do this uh, before I started filming, but no, I, this is uh, sort of my new um, method that uh, seems to be working. Do a pretty rough outline where you figure everything is probably going to go. And then uh, fake in the lettering around them. Maybe clean up the pencils a little bit just to make sure that things are going to end up properly. Then finish up the lettering, finish up the panel borders, tighten up the pencils, and then work going on the inks. And uh, it seems to be working as a method. Mm, that's something that's going to need to be cleaned up. I don't think I got that before. No. And we've eased up considerably on the dialogue on this page. Because that was basically the joke on the last page, was the gigantic wall of uh, text, basically. And having this dragon-looking, snarling dude being super diplomatic. <laughs> and now what we're learning is that being super diplomatic is uh, its a bit too heady for Popo to follow. So we're going to get right down to Popo's level. And this is it right here. Grag Human. You talk now. Tell Clerk what Max Dreamus is plan. 
And I mean, naturally, you know, this is this is just uh. So they, that the opening salvo was trying to be diplomatic, which I give the clerk credit. You know, they didn't uh, start with the brutality; they they were forced into it. And diplomacy didn't work. So, I mean, there was probably going to... In, in normal situations, probably what would happen is you would turn the dial a couple of notches down, you know, on the diplomacy. Just like... But try to try to maintain some, some level of civility. That said, Popo's response was so far off from diplomacy. It's just like, uh, let's just make sure we're using the same words. Um, <laughs> we're going to go like noun verb on this. You know, everything else superfluous. Essentially. And I like this, uh, troubleshooting between the clerics here. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about it that just, uh, just really appeals to me. Maybe because this is part of my day too, where it's just like, what the fuck is happening with our system? So I don't know. Maybe should we just like try this? I Sure, should you try it. Why not? I'm not. I'm still not 100% convinced this is what these guys should look like, but I mean, I think I'm kind of stuck with it now. And they, they do end up looking pretty good as monster villain type aliens. Sometimes I think, well, I should have come up with something a bit more original. But, you know, it's like it, this isn't that series, man. You know, <laughs> that's that's not the point. <laughs> you're you're doing image, remember? What did what did image aliens look like? You had Daemonites? Who didn't look too far from this, actually. Uh, who else? Who, did anybody else have... Well, I mean... Dragon. Dragon is technically an alien. But, you know. Dragon is its own whole fucking thing. And as you can see, I am trying to do a bit more with the brush here. Just kind of get a handle on it. Works well for the Clerg and their, uh, their skin texture. And I like this particular sequence here. I think this is going to be the, the screen cap for this particular episode. Just these two panels here. Because <laughs> this is at, you know, like five minutes of filibustering. Followed by, oh, what was Popo's response? Shoot, what was that response now? See, I don't have it in front of me, so I can't remember exactly what it was. Something about kicking his ass right in the teeth. I remember that bit. And that's just like, I, what? <laughs> and I wasn't a hundred percent sure I could get that face to show this kind of emotion where just like, like completely fucking flabbergasted. It's like, yeah, they turned out okay. And I think I went a bit too hard with the brush here and a bit too um, impatient like particularly like, stuff like this here when I ended up try going back in to try and uh, do the fine inks this was very sloshed on this stuff here was okay but there wasn't as much yeah this stuff looked alright but um yeah, you'll notice I went very light on the detail around Popo's head and it actually kind of made it a little bit tougher to translate. And this stuff... <laughs> you can see with the... Uh, yeah, 
with the ink getting splattered around there. I was I was moving just a bit too fast, I think. It's that thing where like you assume like you know, okay, I've got the basics, yeah, no, the brush goes on the page. And then the ink comes off the brush goes on the page too. Yeah, I got this. It's I'm down, you know. As well there's a little bit more to that maybe. We'll be looking at inking page 14 a little bit later today. So it's like, oh yeah, no, brushes, actual brushes. Yeah, I, mean, I do that now, don't I? And this should be pretty much it. And this was how it sat on my table for a day or two, and I ended up getting falling kind of behind on this. And uh, it kind of occurred to me that, like, uh, when I've done live streams before, um, I have a tendency to just lock myself to the drawing table and just go, because I've got people here. You know? I can't... My usual thing, like, I'll sit here for, like, half an hour, 45 minutes... And draw or letter or, you know, rule stuff out, whatever, whatever the thing is. But, um, you know, then I'll get up. And it's, you know, maybe I'll get back to it in another, like, 20 minutes. Maybe I'll get back to it in another hour or two. Maybe I'll get back to it in a day. I don't know. But you can't really do that when I got people sitting here in a live stream. So, um, on the Sunday, I'd, no, on the Monday, rather, I decided to just do, like, yeah, no, let's throw a... Throw a live stream out there and see how that does. This stuff did not get inked on the live stream. This was the day before, I think. And I wasn't uh, for sure I could do the whole thing, but uh, no, it actually did, like I said, it kept me locked in to my chair here on the table. So I think this is something that, you know, I might try doing a bit more often. I don't know about once a week, but maybe. Like, why not? I'm not putting anything else out on uh, on Sundays or something like that. And from what I can tell from the analytics, that's when most people watch this stuff. is like Sunday after 12 o'clock, my time. So, yeah. Analytics are interesting. Trying to divine analytics is, is maddening. But uh, the information you get is at least a little interesting. Yeah, so this is all going to be... From the live stream, this so this will just all be straight one video, no cuts. That'll be all right. Oh, you also get uh, probably the odd delay here and there as I as I talk to people here. Oh, right, this is shoot. This is right when I was setting it up. See, I shouldn't have. Uh, I, sh I probably should have trimmed this stuff out, actually, but no, maybe not. Took a long time to get it uh, sorted. Because I feel like it's been maybe a month or two since the last time I did a live stream. Every time I got to do one of these, I kind of forget how to how to get it started. <laughs> uh, some of the hatching on these guys is... Uh, I enjoyed quite a bit. The very tiny, very skinny hatching. It's like, yeah, that's some good stuff. It doesn't necessarily work with a light source, and that's okay. That's not in the spirit of, uh, of images, trying to figure out light, light sources. It's like, what's your line count? Line count on this particular image? Pretty fucking high. Which, so this, uh, this panel was a success, I would say. That is kind of funny. Like, that, that was sort of a, a, a subconscious measurement of success. You know? Where if you get, uh, if you get an image with like a couple hundred lines in there, it's like, man, I really got my money's worth on this. It's like, that's not how that works. 
but okay. And these days it's kind of the opposite because like a lot of the most successful artwork is uh, it's very stripped down kind of thing. A lot of the uh, a lot of the rendering is done with the colors instead of cross hatching that kind of thing. That arm looks severely dislocated. That's all right. I mean, how many times have I looked at a Liefeld drawing and going, oh my god, this poor guy, he's paraplegic now. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff there. Almost a little, like, um, a little rights in me. Something about it, yeah. Just the, the, the amount of hatching there. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm, I'm a Bernie Wrightson fan. It's just not anything I've ever really thought about trying to reproduce. And this one, this was a very fake head, I have to say. I probably could have mapped this head out better. Drawing the clerk from behind is a bit of a nightmare, because I don't understand their head geometry well enough, I feel like. From directly behind, yes. At a, like a one-quarter angle? Oh, it's fucking horrifying. And yeah, way off on that, uh, on that ring thing. And decided to keep it pretty simple. Good thing about the clerkship is that it doesn't... The room itself doesn't uh, need to be featured very heavily. I think I talked about this in the last video. Or maybe I talked about this during the live stream. That might have been the case too. Um, yeah, the room itself doesn't need to be featured very heavily because it doesn't interact with anybody at any point. It's all about uh, the characters. This is a, a two-man play. You can do it with absolutely no background whatsoever. So you really just need to suggest background. So anything in excess of that, I mean, you can do it. But it's not my strength. It's not something I enjoy, really. And it's not something I have a whole lot of confidence in. What I am interested in, though, is seeing how much I can get away with. <laughs> Making a fake background. But, like, what exactly would consist of... Um, you know, like, I don't know, what, what can I suggest with a minimal amount of lines? Because that is a Jim Lee thing, that's a Mark Silvestri thing. All of them have figured out how to do that through repetition. It's just, uh, okay, so I can, I can make this particular mood with just these lines in this order. And try to, yeah, try to get to that spot, because that is kind of crucial for staying on a schedule. Um, and I, I don't know. It's the kind of thing you can slowly build on to make more realistic backgrounds, too. I like how this guy's posture completely changes. Once they turn the translator down. To full on supervillain. So this was like three straight hours of inking. Just uh, so minus those top two. Panels there. Um, I think probably in total, 
Well, I think we're 30 minutes in, and it's uh, 10 times speed. So 300 minutes, 5 hours? Yeah. Yeah, if I could convince myself to sit at a table all day, I could do a page a day. Easy. I think. If it's like this. And if I have, like, three people watching me. <laughs> so that I can't, like, abandon it. <laughs> for the day. <laughs> And again, you just get the, uh, I don't know, even while I was doing this, I was thinking like, what is the, uh, you know, I don't know, just, just the fact that this is something I'm willing to do is sit here and fiddle with lines for hours, like fucking hours, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know, it's, it, it, it's a, it's a strange commentary on, on people, I feel like, just we're, do, we're willing to do weird shit. I will say, there's a high line count on this page, considering how, how little time I spent on it, I mean, comparatively, you know. I don't think this is a, a particularly low effort page or anything. Decent hand, I don't know, I'm having difficulty with clerk hands. Get it. They keep reverting in my brain to Ninja Turtle hands. And zip, 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 zip. Very nice. Very satisfying. This is one of those things. You just put a thing in the background that looks like tech. Make it a silhouette. Um, I think if this was in Bl Blood Bastion, so the Blood Force headquarters, I would not be able to get away with making it a silhouette, which is part of the reason those Blood Bastion pages are such a drag sometimes. It's like, oh man, I gotta put in like real detail, which is still not real detail, but it's, you know, it's more visible detail and I, I'm just not okay with that. So yeah, we're putting in just shapes in the background here. Man, all right. And varying up the connecting shapes around them and seeing what that does in terms of eating up the real estate. And I think that is just enough for that panel. They could maybe use a bit more, but I don't know. I don't want to go leaving in something obvious where it's just like, oh, this is just, you know, you, you just tried to fill the space and you didn't do a very good job. This panel here was uh, a little interesting because it's trying to do a keyboard without trying to do a keyboard. You know, the... I. I might end up uh, subbing in some color hold alien kind of uh, icons on top of these keys. I'm not for sure yet. I don't even know if it's necessary. I don't think it is. And then just kind of build the design of the keyboard, the, of the alien keyboard, theoretically. What would that look like? Looks like a bunch of Kit Kat bars. And put, put in some connecting cords. Need more shapes. Need more shapes on, on the keyboard proper. No, oh, that's, uh, yeah, again, the background there. Put 
put some lights on that keyboard. Always a good idea. Make a little recess for them. Yep. And put some buttons next to that recess. Absolutely. And I think probably the other side there, that long solid bar, I think I probably broke that up too. Yep. Not bad. For a fake control panel, I think that's pretty good. So now, it's a little bit tougher for coming up with a fake uh, background because you gotta, I mean, the focus is the clerk captain and Popo and uh, the corporal, I think, and his monitor and everything. And then uh, Popo's manacle ring thing. Everything else is completely superfluous, and uh, but you do need something. So it's like figuring out what is needed to kind of give it that just that verisimilitude. I'm gonna rush through that work because I'll never I'll never get it right. So obviously, do the figures first because they need to look good, and he kind of does there. It's not bad. And then the corporal is going to be pretty easy. And, oh yeah, uh, Popo's right leg here, I completely forgot, was in like uh, a, a calf-high manacle. I'm like, oh shit, how do I get around that now? I'm like, do I? Do I leave it? And just... <laughs> <laughs> like, like this was a case of I forgot what kind of thing he was in for a second while I had a brush and it kind of fucked my page a little bit so now I can try to fix it which you always risk the page looking worse just because you're adding me extra media onto the page um, or I could leave it as just an imagey joke like yeah no the artist forgot which I did, but then I remembered I could have fixed it, and then the joke is, I guess, that I didn't. I don't know. These all these all seem like jokes to me in my head. And then I actually ended up rendering the point moot. when I was building the monitor here for the corporal. Oh, any minute now. Oh, or I could just leave and like go have a nap. Who knows? No, oh, I'm back. All right, so let's build the monitor. I like these little off to the side things. This is like true Jay Lee building a building a background kind of shit. All silhouettes, all very basic shapes. And then I did that. Where I decided to put a shape beside the monitor as some sort of support. I went, fuck, that blocks out his leg. Oh, wait a minute. That's okay. Because <laughs> it, it blocks out where the manacle should be, mostly. You can still tell, wait a minute, that manacle is not where it was, if you're really looking. But it's not right up in your face anymore, and uh, I think it actually kind of ended up helping me out a little bit here. Okay, now we need to add in the ring and a little bit more background tech. Just a bit. Yeah, not too much, because then you're uh, actually... You, I, I might lose the, uh, the important guys in the mix. I think we're better off this way. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And get some panels. Always good. And then remember that little ring of uh, shading. It's like, oh shit, yeah, I completely forgot that in the, in the panel up above. And put some, like, color hold tech in the background here. Which I think would look pretty good on a finished page. And then, yeah, then add in that shading that I forgot earlier. And I think that's about it. Except for more fucking with it. Oh, yeah. Add a, bit, add a couple of lights here and there. I'll, I'll clean those up a bit. Oh, here we go. See? Not too bad. Little dot here, little dot there, because obviously those dots needed to be changed. They were, they were standing out by a mile. All right. So that is page 13. Um, not a bad looking page. You know what's interesting? I was looking through uh, the early pages of issue one. And I mean, we're a year later. But there is uh, a fair amount of difference in between these, the, that, just where I'm at now versus where I was, say, you know, page 8, page 9, page 10 of issue 1. Um, and like, yeah, given that this is a year later, I guess you would kind of expect it. It's just a little interesting to see it happening this soon, I suppose, because I can't churn out pages with the regularity of that I'd like. You know, I'd like to be able to do uh, an issue a month, honestly. And, you know, get the impression I might be able to under the right circumstances. But, you know, those circumstances way, way, way over the horizon. Not even really worth thinking about too much. Um, and so, like, um, sorry, I was th what I was thinking of was, like, Mark Silvestri, when he was doing X-Men, he was f just flipping out pages, like, friggin' one a day at least. Probably more like two on a lot of days. Because he had to get, there were months where he had to get two issues done. Uh, Todd McFarlane had days where he would have to get out two, um, where, well, he would have months where he would have to get out two issues in that month. And Rob Liefeld would have months like that, and he would ignore them entirely. So I have to find, like, a middle ground. <laughs> Not my point. Uh, so, but uh, that constant uh, one page a day, two pages a day, Jay Lee... Well, no. Jay Lee doing eight pages a day, I don't think, really taught him a ton. <laughs> Other than how to get out eight pages in a day. Which is just mind-blowing regardless. But, you know. Um, yeah, no. If you're doing a page or two a day, you're working out mistakes real fast. You're working out how to get shortcuts real fast. All that shit. And that's where I want to get. And it seems to be happening. And we're getting uh, closer to that higher line count, which uh, which I value for no valid reason. So that's awesome. Way to go, team. Team Blood Force. Um, I, and I'm just kind of rambling now, so I'm going to call this a day. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much for watching that. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, um, hit the notification so you know when I'm dropping the next one. Or when the next quiz is coming down the pipe. Or when uh, whatever the fuck else I'm doing. Um, then go over to Twitter. Follow me there. But most importantly, go over to my Patreon and subscribe there. That's where all the Blood Force pages end up. As well as all the process stuff. Uh, that's where all the videos go uh, as soon as I finish them. Not just uh, when they're scheduled to drop. So that's usually a, a week or a week and a half in advance. And there's the odd bit of uh, content that's exclusive to the Patreon uh, site as well, so it's uh, it's worth the uh, worth the the monthly fee, I'd say. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.